Hello everybody and welcome to Lucky by Nature. Beast Demon here and finally I was able to do the updated version of the fastest way to level up. I'm just going to call it the LBN's level up run. The new servers are just around the corner so it will be a race for supremacy and the best way to get there is to level up fast. I know that people have other methods that they swear by but trust me I have tested them all and not one of them compares not by a long shot. But if you don't believe me, then you should test it yourself. It will, however, take practice. So before you go into the new servers, make sure you run this on your single player, even in God mode, so you can get used to the route, and you will be shocked at how effective this method is. Now, I am going to put up two versions of the same video. This video will have the focus on the aerial view, so the runner view is going to be small. If you prefer to have the runner view instead, then check out the other video with the same name but with runner view. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to spawn on West Zone 2. And there are different areas uh, within the zone that you can spawn. But uh, once you get used to this run, it, it won't matter because you'll be able to get up and start running the routes uh, no matter where you're at. So right now we are headed towards the cliff and as you can see um, on the aerial view it kind of shows you a much uh, better view to where we are headed and what we're doing here. So the first thing we're going to work on is our speed. That is a must. And I am on God mode because uh, I do I did realize that uh, on the last video that I did, people were getting turned around because I was running for my life and I was running in circles and doing all that stuff. And so people would get turned around. So I decided to do this one on God mode. So that way I go from point A to point B and you guys uh, won't get lost and it'll be a lot more clear. So right now what we did is uh, we basically went to the top area uh, on top of basically the cliff and now we're going to go through the clearing. Here we are. So we will continue working on our speed until we get to 133. That type of speed will be fast enough to outrun almost every single dino on uh, the map, but the only thing you will have to worry about is aloes. Well, and of course, Probably a giga too. <laughs> but hopefully you won't see any on the route. So uh, on the map as you can see that's an approximate position. But you, you will be able to see it right away as soon as you go, go in. Starting to get a little foggy on the map. But that's uh, the way you want to go. And it's uh, important to pay attention what I'm doing uh, on the runner view because uh, basically I always position myself the way that I'm going to run. And so now we need to go all the way to the top of this little hill. And usually there's trudons uh, throughout this little island, but during the day, there's not really too much to worry about. But that's just something to keep in mind. If uh, a trudon does get you, keep an eye on the timer uh, until you pass out. And while you do that, try to run towards water or 
if there is no water anywhere close to you then just uh, try to get on the rock and hopefully they won't get you but now you basically just go downhill and it's a good thing we're on uh, leave me alone actually so they ignore me they don't even know I'm here so now we're gonna head towards the Y of the river because uh, our route is gonna take us right by the waterfalls and usually right through here there are piranhas and sometimes there's sarcos usually just one sarco but uh, other times you know you, there's not much here so it all depends just be careful All right, so we are headed to uh, close to the second waterfall. I hear the first one, and there's the second one. Alright, so now we are going to go towards all the trees, all the, the forest area. This one is, it can be a little tough to find. So, it's very important that you set yourself up. The arrow is showing you basically which way we're going to go. And I'm looking at that tree. I'm going to go right beside the tree, to the right of it. Now, try to go as straight as possible and watch the markers like these rocks you will see these rocks to your left and just go straight and now we will be coming up to a rock there it is right here and that's your marker that's when you gotta turn and see it's right beside it so that's nice and easy And uh, on the aerial view, it just shows you. But of course, you won't have uh, the aerial view. But it, it kind of is showing you basically, you know, to find your way. But now, pay attention to where I am uh, looking on the runner view, and then uh, pay close attention to the markers. You will always see the, that big rock there, and you, I always go between that big rock and that tree. Then you will see these rocks here close together and go as straight as possible and it will take you to the very next one and also remember um, by this point your water should be pretty low you should have picked some uh, some water up uh, over by the waterfall so always keep an eye on that but I always find myself with low water here so now we're gonna head out towards the ocean And so it, uh, on the aerial view, it uh, clearly shows you which way we're going. And uh, when it rains, it's nice because uh, then <laughs> now I wouldn't need to go all the way down to the ocean. But I'm still going to do it just because uh, you won't always have the rain. You know, sometimes you're lucky, but other times you're not. Also, always make sure that you pick up berries as you're running. And also put your berries in your hot bar, your quick bar. So that way, while you're running, you can just push your D-pad and eat. And you don't have anything to worry about. So now we're running along the water here. And we are looking for these rocks right here. And then now we're going to turn uh, the aerial view shows you clearly uh, what's going on and so now we're gonna go just basically up the mountain oh. all right and on the aerial view you should be able to see the 
you know, that little whatever it's called. But that's where we're headed. The ruin, that's what it's called. <laughs> the ruin. And as you can see, we're picking up uh, levels like crazy. Now we are going to be looking straight at that tree. And we're going to go right beside the tree. But you got to go slow right through here or you're going to end up falling down and you're going to hurt yourself right through here. Because we got a lot of speed, guys. Now you can run really fast, so... And right before you go out uh, from the tree line, just turn slightly to the right and just go along the tree line more or less and uh, you'll always find this one every single time. Right here, um, you'll probably re be running out of water. So I would suggest that you start making your way towards the ocean over here. So you can refill. And then keep on going. We're going to go back in. Because there, there's a pretty large ruins over here. And as you can see, we've been at this for 12 minutes real time. And you can see our level. So now we're going to head back the way we came. And we're going to go by the water. And that's a good chance uh, for you to refill your water. As you get faster and also as you start putting more stam on, uh, you won't go through water as fast. So this time we're headed all the way to the ocean because uh, there's a pile of rocks and you can you cannot get confused between uh, there's two piles of rocks and but this one you can tell that this is the one we're looking for because of those you know kind of spikes I guess they are and here it is All right, so now we keep on going north. And over here, there's two almost uh, right by each other. I mean, like really, really close. So we're going to get this one down here and then the other one is right above us. And so we're just going to go around a little bit here. And it's right here, right at the end of this. So now we're going to keep on going north. The next one is, uh, you know, a bit far. So this is going to be a long run, but we are going to go past a waterfall and that's where you can refill your or replenish your water.
And also don't forget um, if you are running out of water and or you're thirsty already, the, I believe the blue um, berries are the ones that replenish some of your water. So that's always nice. Oh, I'm stuck. All right. There we go. So now we just uh, run along the edge of the cliff here. Until it, go it goes all the way down. Then the next thing we're looking for is um, the finger of the mountain. And right before it, uh, there's going to be a couple of trees. We're looking for the second tree. And then there is a pile of rocks right by it. There you go. It's right here right between the rocks now we gotta go up the finger of the mountain And over here guys there is uh, like a couple of like I would call them steps but on the aerial view you can uh, see which way we need to go and see I go literally right by the little cliff here and as soon as I see this rock that overhangs it's right here because you can't go any further <laughs> or you're you're gonna fall All right, so now we're gonna go up the mountain. See the aerial view. So usually I hug this cliff over here and then we end up going right to the area that allows us to go up there. You can get stuck a little bit, so just kinda like move to the right or the left, you know, until you make it all the way up. And then uh, we got one little more little area over here to go up. And there's a big ruin here. See, uh, as you saw, there's raptors up here. There's all kinds of goodies. <laughs> Not really goodies, but um, stuff that can really mess you up. Now, uh, so now I'm going to run just towards these trees. And there's going to be a pile of rocks. And it's going to be in between. Between the rocks. Now from here, I always look towards the volcano and then start running towards the right edge of the volcano. And this usually takes us right to the river, close to the waterfall that we're looking for. And as you can see, I do try to run as straight as possible, but you know, sometimes you have to go around little rocks and stuff, but you know, do try to stay as straight as possible. And here we are, I can hear it. Then from here, we just go across. You can walk right across, you don't have to swim. Probably take a drink. Then we go slightly up river and right here where the this these stones are you saw they're kind of close we go up this one is a little tricky I always look at that one tree and turn a little a little bit to the left of it and it takes me to it every time and so now we're gonna have to go at an angle but just so just look at which way I'm going I run along the, this rock, it's going to be to my left, and just go straight. And just like before, try to stay as straight as possible, and as you can see, it takes you right to it. So that's going to be the biggest thing. You, you're, whenever you do your run, just look at the markers. You know, use stones, use certain trees. But usually the stones because they, you know, they have certain formations and, and stuff that you can remember. And so now we have to go back towards the waterfall. 
sometimes I jump down there uh, on the bottom but there is a uh, spinal down there so there's no you know reason for me to do that so I will just go through the waterfall which is perfectly fine as well I usually like the other way just because it does cut my time a little bit so any shortcuts I can take I will and so now we just run along the river and we will come up to another large ruin right by the water and uh, our speed is fast enough to outrun the you know all those uh, raptors and, and stuff that you've seen usually they don't they don't stand a chance and I do fly right by them it's it's not a big deal so now we're just gonna go down the side of this uh, river you can hear the waterfall This is probably the most dangerous area. We gotta go across the water. And then you just kinda run along the river again. But except this one, this time we're on this side. There's a lot of Paki Rhinos in this area. And what we're looking for is basically there's going to be rocks and it's going to be right in front of the rocks. Yeah, right there. So now look at the aerial view of where we're going and as you saw on the runner's view I went between two rocks and this one can be a little tricky because you can't be too far in and you can't be right by the edge of the little cliff and here we go I even went in uh, on the aerial view just to show you exactly where it's at and right here it, you can get turned around but uh, the best way to do it is basically you will see this cliff and just hug it there's gonna be a lot of rocks like this getting in the way but we are gonna hug the the cliff and when it ends you just keep on going straight don't go around with it because then that's gonna be bad you will end up all the way back towards the ocean so now we're just going directly straight on the aerial view you can see which way we're going and uh, we're gonna get to the end here in a second almost to the clearing on the aerial view but we're almost uh, we're almost there when we get there then we just go up the cliff see here's the end so now we go up and there's really only one way I can find this one uh, because this one to me is probably one of the hardest to find and this right here that I just went through is a great way to get away from stuff that's uh, after you that's you know like a carno or or a raptor but I always go to this little peak right here in front of me then I turn and you see where I'm at and then I go right by, th by this tree every single time and then I go to the left of these rocks and follow the you know the right along the rocks and uh, just go straight as possible once again and when I come up here to that one tree that you saw um, I always know to slow down because I know it's right by it 
and always make sure you go right back the same way you came because if you don't once again you will end up getting turned around because we need to go back exactly where we came in from and now we just run along the cliff again because uh, we're gonna go down and then we're gonna come back to so see on the aerial view we're showing you which way we're going and then we're gonna go around and that's where the the ruins are and now in the aerial view I'm showing you which way we're going so now on the runner's view just uh, look and uh, see what we're going by like I said landmarks And I am going as straight as I can, but we're gonna have to adjust a little bit. We are going towards the towards the swamp. And see it's uh right here. This one's really easy to find. But now this next one, not so easy. So the aerial view is showing you where which way we're going. I'm going to run close to the swamp, but just remember there are a lot of uh, titan boas and, and such. But as long as you're running and you don't get stuck on anything, you're, you'll be fine. And what I'm looking for is a large stone. And as you can see there, I mean there's a lot of large stones as we're running. But uh, kind of keep in, uh, you know, just in the back of your head. Because at first I used to have uh, issues with this one, but now it's fairly easy to find. So I just keep on running and you will see the big, the big rock here in a little bit. Uh, it should be this one up here. Like you gotta be able to recognize these uh, large uh, boulders because now we're going right up beside them and this uh, should take us right back to where the water is where the waterfalls were except we're just slightly to you know uh, well we're on the left side instead of the right side this time and now what we're looking for is the clearings on the aerial view. You can see the first uh, large clearing there. But we actually need to go to the second one, the small one up on top. And it will be right by the rocks. just by itself and now we're gonna head back towards the river and this note is also by itself right by another rock here And now um, we are gonna go back to the other side, but uh, and we're just gonna run along the river. We already more or less ran on the other side. Now we're running on this side, and there's uh, quite a few close by. So you wanna go by all these uh, large stones. And it's right here. The next one is really nice and close as well. A 
Now it's just drop down from the top. And now we just gotta go to the next uh, small cliff. And so now we gotta go through the little river but uh, there's a little area over here where you can just walk past it. You don't have to swim. And then we gotta go around. On the aerial view you can see where that large tree is it's right next to it we're about 30 minutes in I think we're doing pretty good so now we're going to go straight out as we come out of this area and here what I'm looking for is the cliff that if you look over on the aerial view there is a cliff right ahead of us so now I'm looking for a small little path I'll be able to see the cliff, like a perfect view, it's a, a little path uh, towards the cliff. Yeah, see, right here. That, that's what I'm looking for because I know that I'm really, really close to it. And so I just go along the rocks here and that's how I find it every time. And this one is important. Whenever you get it, watch which way I'm facing and then just run straight you have to dodge in all those uh, trees but try to run straight you will come through this clearing and then uh, you know this little area slightly to the right here and that's how, you, how that's how I find it every single time as well So now it's time for us to go across the water. And obviously you can work on whatever you want. Me, I do spend a lot of time in the water, so I do tend to work on my oxygen. And uh, that comes real handy right through here because usually there's piranhas and, and you know things like that. And you gotta get across as fast as you can. And the oxygen, uh, the higher the oxygen, the faster you swim. With uh, 300 oxygen, I can actually outrun, well, I wouldn't say outrun, but I can stay ahead of the sharks. You can hear them uh, trying to bite me behind me, but but they they don't as you can see there's a spine over there playing around if this was a real run on a real server on an official server obviously I would try to stay away from that usually there's a uh, saber fish or whatever you want to call them I don't I don't remember what they're called that usually we have to worry about right through that area sometimes uh, piranhas here we are looking for the rocks that you see on the aerial view and the arrow is showing you which way we're going because I always set myself up right here you can't really see this all that great from the aerial view so I'm just giving you guys an approximate
And so now the arrow is showing you which way we're going to go from there. My marker for this one is another stone that is uh, brownish. And now I set myself up, the arrow showing you which way we're running. But up, up here it gets a little tricky. As you can see the two rocks up here, we're actually going to go under them. And then, and then go over. Because if you don't, uh, you're going to walk right past it and won't even see it and then it's hell trying to find it. Now from here, we are going to go to the highest peak of this uh, small island. On the aerial view, you can see it way up, up there and that's uh, where we're going. And you have, I guess, a little path through here that can take you up there but uh, you know I just don't like the whole zigzag thing so I try to go as straight as possible there are two in this area but I always go to the top one first and then from the top we can see where the other one is because the second one is by it looks like steps Now let's look over. See from the aerial view you can see the, the steps, there's trees. So let's go on down. <laughs> this is the area where uh, that Trudon got me on the hardcore PvP run. But it's right here by these trees. It's all by itself. So now we're gonna go towards the river. So we're going east to the next island. And this is another area where piranhas could be a problem. But like I said, if your oxygen is high enough, you should have no issue. Alright, so here we are going to take a shortcut. I used to actually run around, but uh, now I just take this shortcut because it is a lot faster. The aerial view shows you where. Now we just keep on going forward and it'll take us to the water. And there are three notes and dossiers on this rock island. Now you can't miss this next one, it's impossible.
Then we take the first right, this little path. All right, so now we got a pretty long run to the next one. And these next couple are a little tougher to find. So I am going to try my best to show you. And th that's why, you know, you got to have both the aerial view and the running view because yeah, it's it's uh some of these are pretty tricky. Now we need to go across the river. This is also a dangerous spot with uh, piranhas. Luckily the next little part of the river we can just run across. So on this one it is very important to keep an eye on the running view because this one can be a little tricky. Very very tricky the first one. Once you find the first one the second one is a lot easier. Okay, and, uh, see I'm <laughs> I realized that I was a little too high. Luckily I recognize the big boulders. And I can adjust. And uh, you know like I said before, if you guys practice this, you won't have any issue. This one is a pretty much a straight shot. As long as you are facing the right direction. Now we're going to have a, a pretty long run to the next couple. But we are 43 minutes in and our levels are doing pretty good. That's why whenever I hear, you know, people say that there's uh, these other ways of uh, leveling up <laughs> like I gotta see it to believe it and uh, so far I haven't I haven't seen it so I'm really glad that uh, Ark decided to you know wildcard decided to do this because uh, the old-fashioned way it was pretty horrible it took it took way too long to level up And I mean, I was just like everybody else, you know, once uh, I was able to do or to build some rafts, that's what I would do. I would build raft after raft and then destroy them and get uh, half the resources back. I mean, it was it was a mess and it still took uh, quite a long time to, because just to get the stuff, you know, to uh, the resources to do that, it sucks. But right now we don't have anything to lose. We just run. And that's it. Picking up levels like crazy. Alright, so we're close to the next one. Then we take a little shortcut over here. That way we don't have to go back to the beach and go around. Like the aerial view is showing. I mean, you can't miss this one either. And then what we are going to do is we're going to go to this shallow end or the shallow area. 
because I really don't want to see. Look at all those uh, piranhas there. I don't want to deal with that. So that way we just run across. Now we are in an in a cluster where there are a lot of those notes and dossiers. So I gotta find the first one here, which is uh, just up here somewhere. Because it's easiest for me to find it by going straight. And then to my right, there should be the cliff. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Okay, there it is. Yeah, this one, I mean, you can miss it. Uh, if I mean, I've tried different ways of doing this, and it doesn't work. So now from here, I go straight towards the cliff that you see on the aerial view. The arrow is showing you our path. And once I hit the cliff, I just run alongside of it because, uh, you know, that way uh, you can't miss. Okay, so now we got to go back in. And this is important the way we, uh, the way we're looking. I'm running towards these uh, rocks. And kind of slow it down because you can miss this one real quick. Oh, there it is. See, I, I went off course a little bit. If, if I get too far, I tend to go back uh, towards the cliff uh, to our left right here. And then uh, backtrack. So now, usually I just go straight like this. And for some reason, it takes me to the same spot every time up until I hit the cliff and look it, it it brings me here and I don't even know why but I tend to always look that way and it takes me right to it and this one don't make the mistake of going straight uh, because you'll end up in a different area you have to go slightly to the right but just slightly, not too much. Okay, and we keep on going forward. And it'll take us to the next one. This one's pretty easy to find. And we go towards these trees. As you can see the opening over there. And there's a cliff to the right. So you can't miss this one either. Just go along the cliff and go around it. The ruins. You can't miss. They're really, really large. So as you saw, we picked up quite a few right in this area. So there's, you know, there's areas where there's clusters like this. All right, so now we got to go to, you know, more or less towards Herbivore Island. So you can see it up there, but we can't get down from here. So you have a choice. You can either go right or left. Either way, it'll, it'll allow you to go down because we need to go to the very front. It would be nice if I could just jump down, but uh... now sometimes I do, if I do see a drop, like a green drop, I do like going after those because, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you do get useful stuff. Sometimes you find parachutes and that's always nice because that cuts a lot of time. Just jump down. And there we are. Alright, so this next part is optional. 
if you didn't work on your oxygen then I definitely do not suggest you go across in the water because you will die there's always sharks and like I said I have 300 oxygen and that is just fast enough to stay ahead of them but if you do not you will die So there's three over here in this area. And I used to not pick these up, but uh, ah, you know, they do give me at least one level, so. And here's the first one. Then the second one is uh, way down here by a large stone. And then the last one we have to go up there on top of the cliff. And I found that the quickest way to do it is just going this route. Now, the reason that uh, Vixen and I are really good at doing this stuff is because right now, while I do this, <laughs> she's uh, at this point she would be getting dodos, getting some eggs and things like that, and uh, she would actually be, you know, working on uh, on stuff to do kibble. Because even a couple of kibble will get me, um, you know, just a few kibble will, will get me a low level Pteranodon. And I'm so high level right now that, uh, I mean, I can build a lot of things that we need. And once I get going, get the Pteranodon, then uh, I am ready to keep on leveling up. And since I know where every single one of these uh, dossiers and notes are it takes me no time to be up in the 80s so yeah she uh, usually gets stuck with the grinding and then uh, usually once I'm done you know leveling up to a certain point usually it's 80 so I can start picking up uh, uh, red drops because uh, you know you use the same type of kibble to get uh, those dolphins and they're so easy to get but we I guess you could say we have this down to science all right so we're gonna head back to where we came from and by this point our stamina is you know pretty high our speed our oxygen so the swim is not a big deal the running we get we can run pretty long distances so for the most part I I try to get my weight up to 300 and then I start working uh, on my health to get it up to 400 So if you haven't been paying attention, uh, first I work on my speed, then my stamina, then I usually go for oxygen, and once I get to around 200, just so I can get across those rivers quick enough, 
Then I start working on my health. And then I go back to oxygen till I get to 300. Uh, with my health, I usually get to 200. Then back down to oxygen. Then go. Then I go back to health, and then down to weight. So I tr I try to keep it, uh, you know, pretty pretty level, I guess you could say. But like, I mean, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. What works best for you. This is just uh, what works best for us. All right, so here I am going to miss one. And the reason is because it doesn't really make any difference. I can come back later and get it. But the fact that they put this, you know, these so far apart, that's, that kind of sucks. And if it did got, uh, get me up to the next level, then I would get it, but it's not going to, so it's not a big deal. So this one here is by the tree. On the aerial view, you see Brontos right there by the tree. And it's over here by the end. And so now we just gotta go along the cliff until it goes down to the bottom. I do have shortcuts for a lot of this stuff, but I found that uh, that is a lot harder to follow. And you may end up uh, making your own shortcuts once you're used to this. So I, that's why I figure I, you know, I run along the side of the stuff, a, a lot of uh, cliffs, obviously, because it's easier for you guys to keep uh, track. And so as you saw, I went down. And then I'm just going to go right up uh, this other, uh, right along the cliff again. And so on the aerial view, I'm going to show you basically about, about where it's at. But I always look for this big boulder and it's always behind it. That's how I find it. So now right here I could take a huge shortcut. But I'm going to try to go uh, and run along the side of another little cliff here. So you can take a semi shortcut. And this path will come up to a Y, but um, if you're running on the bottom, um, it's bad. It's bad news because there's a lot of Trudons usually. So now I'm taking a shortcut right here on the aerial view. I mean, it's kind of tough to see. So I'm just going to kind of show you about where it's at. And this one is one of those where <laughs> you're just going to have to play with it. Kind of watch mo for markers once again. So now we're headed towards the swamp. And this is where it could get a little tricky, a little dangerous. But this area where I'm going... There's only one spot that you would have to swim, but where you are fast enough that you can jump it, you just have to time it right. Right here. See? So we're good to go. Nothing can get us. And we're too fast for leeches to get us. 
So everything's good. So our next note is going to be over here right by this tree or right behind it. And now we're going to be running to, towards these two massive boulders over here. And I like to go on this side. You can go on the other side, but there's, uh, you know, they're kind of split in the middle. But this one is kind of under the second one. All right, so here we have a really, really long run. We have to go towards the ocean. And then we have to come back because we have to be up there uh, on top of the cliff over there. But uh, that's the way we're going. And then that's the way we're coming back. So on the aerial view, uh, we're pretty much just gonna go towards where the artifact is and wait for the running version to catch up. But uh, at this point right here, I would be running low on water. So I would be running alongside the the swamp, taking a quick drink and then coming back out because uh, you still have to watch out for those titan boas. And we finally reached the bottom over here. Now we can go back up. And running alongside the cliff is fine because that'll take you right to it anyway. I mean, it's pretty much in the open field anyway, so you can't miss it. The biggest worry would have to be like raptors and Dillos. Alright, so now we're gonna go down the open field. And this is kind of a long run as, as well, but... This is probably where you may have to walk some and run some because there is no water in the area and unless it's raining like it is right now which is that's nice <laughs> then I can go you know full speed but otherwise uh, I would uh, try to conserve water a little bit but the other one is right here by this tree And now we're going to go up the hill. And we are headed towards the area where... Uh, to me it looks like Stonehenge a bit. But this one is... Uh, you can't miss it. It's easy to find. This next one, however, is a bit hard to find. So just watch the the runner. See where he's going. Going down. Usually in this area it gets lighter once we get down here somewhere. Let's see if it happens. But I'm turning slightly towards the east. And it's over there. I see it. Uh, I know. Yeah, there, there it is. <laughs> I knew I saw it. So now we got to make our way back towards the ocean. So we just keep on going. The same way we were 
initially running towards the east. This is a long run. And by this point, you would be thirsty, very thirsty. So what I like to do is I like to save the blueberries. I can't remember what they're called, but uh, yeah, save those for when I'm really thirsty. So I usually eat the other ones. And uh, this is a, this square, more or less. And I go to the corner and then I just follow the tree lines and then uh, this boulder to my left as you can see and there it is every time markers guys markers always always keep those markers uh, in your mind and if you miss one, then go back to where I came in and do it again. You'll get used to it. You'll get the hang of it. Oh man, this guy. <laughs> All right, so we are going up this mountain and this one is a little tough to get up there. So what you have to do, you have to get as high as you can right here. Then just jump over and over. Just keep on jumping, keep on jumping. Uh oh, and there we go. And usually by now you shouldn't have any issue because I know it's cold here but you should have around 300 health so you should be able to uh, to live through this because by the time I get here I I, I I mean I never die from the cold but you do start losing health obviously Okay, so this one looks pretty steep, but just like before um, at the start, you have to kind of go right and left, left and right, whichever way it works. Because uh, as you can see, I hit spots that I can not go up and I just move. Now, if this was an actual run, I would, I would end up making these guys fall down because we got tricks for everything. And so it, it's so steep that these guys just end up flying down. But see, that would take me a little longer and that would uh, waste a little time. Now here, you have to go really, really slow because if you start running, you're gonna end up falling pretty far and you may end up getting killed So now we are going straight up this area. Don't make the mistake of trying to go to the right right here. Just keep on going towards that tree that you see up there. Okay, now you can go down. But on the aerial view, I'm going to keep on going the other way. 
just because it's got a broader view but uh, to show you basically where I'm going because uh, the runner view I'm going down but then I'm, I'm also going towards uh, I guess I'm pointing towards uh, Carno Island because that's the way we gotta go and the only way that I can find this next one is if I go this way towards Carno Island and I will end up running right at a cliff or into a cliff a drop off see I can see it's all bright so I know that that's where it's at and so then I walk along the cliff see here's the cliff over there's Carno then I uh, take a look at these rocks I go past these rocks you see where it gets really narrow right here and then I go in and then there's this huge boulder to my left and it takes me to the spot every time So now what we want to do is we want to head towards the ocean because you should be pretty thirsty by now. And you can take a drink as you're running or if your stem is low you can uh, you can wait if a Rex is uh, after you that's uh, when I would jump towards in, into the ocean all right so now we are looking for a set of rocks or a bunch of rocks these right here and now we are gonna go up the mountain so this should take us right to the next uh, dossier or note and as you can see I mean I've had to uh, adjust slightly a little bit here and there so just look at the markers and it should be right here yeah, it's hiding behind these big boulders and it's right on the corner so I'm just gonna jump there it's kinda a little tricky there we go now we need to go back towards the water towards the inlet of that uh, river or outlet I guess you could say because water should be going out but whatever whichever way it is you know what I mean so I'm gonna try to get as close as possible to the spot and you may just have to adjust depending on where you're at but I will show you basically what you're looking for and what you're looking for are these pile of rocks right here so see I came out almost right on it that's freaking awesome <laughs> and you come to these uh, trees right here and it's I mean it's hard to see as you can see because of all these uh, bamboo or whatever it is but hopefully with this video you'll be able to find it every time and now we want to go to the smallest area where we can go across the river because on the aerial view you can see the actual pillar or whatever of where we're going where we're headed because you can see the ruins first before the everything else starts to spawn around it you see the boulders are spawning around it now but that's where it's at we just gotta go around these these boulders
Now we gotta go into the forest in here. There's a little pond that's hidden. The aerial view shows you the pond. And it's right in the middle of it. And now we just want to go straight. And what we're going towards is an entrance to the hidden lake. But there's a bunch of rocks over here that form like a, a bridge across that path. And that is the markers that I'm looking for. Because as you can see, I'm going too far to the north a little bit. And so I'm going to have to, once I hit the little cliff here, I'm going to have to turn more south. And find the pile of rocks and right here. And it's going to be at the end of the rocks. So here we are. And now we can go back along the cliff. And there's a little area that I like to go down without getting hurt. Because ultimately we want to get into the hidden lake because there's two that we need to pick up. So right here what I'm looking for is this tree. And down at the bottom there is a rock. And that's what I aim for right there and it doesn't hurt you because um, as long as you hit the side of it right here and you just kind of float in it's kind of weird because it's kind of tight right there so when you when you land you're basically floating and so now this other ones over here by some rocks And then the next one is easy to find because the ruins are massive. It's large ruins. We just uh, run towards the uh, another exit. There's three entrances here that bring you into the lake, the hidden lake. And so we would want to keep on going out this exit here. And that will take us to one of my favorite spots, actually. This is the area where uh, we're, we always build, usually, if it's available. And we are going to the peak. And it's right next to the large tree. Easy enough to find. So now we are going to get our last one for the run. And that will get us to level 76. Which, uh, I mean, I think it's ridiculous considering that we've been at this for an hour and 19 minutes and 30 seconds right at this time. But by the time we get to it, uh, we should be at around an hour and maybe 20, 21 minutes maybe. This is kind of a long run. And obviously, now that we're getting higher levels, it's going to take longer. But there there are still so many notes and dossiers out there. That's why at this point, uh, like I said before, you know, Vixen would be either getting me a Tyranodon or she would be working on some on something because the to get the kibble, obviously, it's going to take a bit. 
So the, the very first Pteranodon, we usually get it with meat, and it's usually a really low level one. Then the second one, it's usually a really high level, anywhere between 140 and 150. Because by then, you know, we already have our garden and everything going, so it usually works out really well. And here we are. That is the last one, guys. And level 76 in less than an hour and a half. Obviously, it will take a, lo a little longer. Uh, but anyway, that's it for me, guys. So until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.